Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, pilgrims, especially the knights and dames and the families of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem. The emblem of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre is called the Jerusalem Cross. The Jerusalem Cross is actually composed of one big cross with, three, with four small crosses at each of the quadrants. Why one big cross and why four small crosses? The emblem of the Holy Sepulchre is actually a reminder of the five wounds of Christ. And therefore, the flag of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre is a reminder of how we should live as members of this order. So, what are the five wounds of Christ? The five wounds of Christ are the wounds on the hands, the wounds on the feet, and the wound on the side. What do these five wounds signify for us? The first is the womb, wound on the right side, on the right hand of the Lord. The right is the side of power. It is the side of authority. It is also the side of influence. It is the side of honor. That is why when we shake hands, we use the right hand. That is why when we give a blessing, we use the right hand. That is why when couples get married, they hold each other's right hand. When we make an oath, we raise our hands. And when we make panatang makabayan, we also raise our right hand. But what wounded the right hand of the Lord? What wounded it? It is power without service. When power is used for power, it is brute force. We must always remember that when God gives us power, it is always meant for service. And when power is used for vanity, when power is used for self-preservation, when power is used for for self-adoration, then it wounds the hand of Christ. The wound on the right hand symbolizes the wound of power without service. What about the wound on the left side? It is presumed that Christ was right-handed. And later on, you can ask me how I can prove that Christ is right-handed, but not now. Left, the left hand is the weaker side. The left hand is the hand of weakness because this is the hand of strength. The left side is the side of weakness. And when it was wounded by the nails pierced into the hands, what is the wound that caused the wound on the left side of Christ? It is weakness without hope. All of us are weak, but our hope is in the Lord. All of us are weak, but our strength is in the Lord. We say, I am weak, yes, but I have hope because God loves me. We say, I have been blackened by sin, but I am beautiful because I have been touched by God. To acknowledge that you are weak is a sign of humility. But to say that you are weak and you are destined for, for damnation, is a sign of despair. Brothers and sisters, in this time, I want to tell you, I want to warn you that discouragement is the back door of the devil. When the devil wants to attack us, he enters to the door of discouragement. To say that we have no more hope, that all our efforts will be fruitless, that we, we have nothing to look forward to anymore. It is weakness without hope. The wound on the right is power without service. The wound on the left is weakness without hope. What is the wound on the right foot of the Lord? The right foot of the Lord is the symbol of justice. It is the symbol of righteousness. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of those who bring glad tidings, said the prophet Isaiah. Justice is good because it gives a sense of order. 
But justice without mercy is a wound. Justice and mercy complement each other. In the words of St. Thomas Aquinas, he said, Mercy without justice is dissolution. Justice without mercy is cruelty. We who follow the order of the Holy Sepulcher, we are called to walk the path of justice, the path of fairness. But let us keep in mind that the highest law is not justice. The highest demand is mercy. Justice without mercy wounded the right foot of Christ. What is the wound on the left side of Christ, on the left foot of Christ? The left foot is the sign is the foot of leadership. Leadership is a is, is a quality that is worth emulating. But leadership without example is a wound. Leadership without witnessing is a wound. Because the best way to lead is by example. And Saint Paul II rightly said, Modern man does not listen to speakers anymore. Modern man listens to witnesses. Because if leaders are effective in the world today, it is because they have first been witnesses, examples of what they teach. That is why another crusader to the Holy Land, St. Francis of Assisi said, Go and preach the gospel. Use words if necessary. Words are not necessary for preaching the gospel. What is necessary for preaching the gospel is the example of our lives. The wound on the right, which is power without service. The wound on the left, which is weakness without hope. The wound on the right foot is justice without mercy. The wound on the left foot is leadership without example. Where was the biggest wound of Christ? The biggest wound of Christ is on the chest, on the side, near the heart. In fact, if you remember in the Gospel of St. John, the Lord said, Come, put your hand into my side. The doctors among you, imagine that. Put your hand, not finger, put your hand into my side. It means that it was big enough to allow the fist to enter. The wound on the right side was pierced, and then from that pierced side flowed blood and water. What is the symbolism of blood? It is a symbol of redemption. What is the symbolism of water? is a symbol of life. Therefore, when blood and water came from the side of Christ, what it means is we have been saved by the blood of Christ and we have been given the life of baptism because of Christ. But what is the wound of Christ on the side? The wound of Christ is this. When we love the earth and forget heaven, Earth without heaven is a wound. It is good to be healthy here on earth, but do not forget that you must be healthy after death. It is good to fix your hair, but please make sure that your soul is more beautiful than your hair. It is good to exercise. It is good to maintain health. But please make sure that your soul is healthier than your body. Because if you live for 100 years here on earth, that is quite long. But 100 years is nothing compared to life everlasting. Earth without heaven. Materialism. To think that everything ends here on earth is a wound. It is a wound that hurts the Lord. It is a wound that hurts the church. Power without service. Weakness without hope. Justice without mercy. 
leadership without example, earth without heaven, the five wounds of Christ, the five wounds that continue to hurt the body of the Lord. And unfortunately, the body of the Lord continues to be nailed and to be pierced, no longer by enemies, but those who call themselves children of God. And that is us. When we open the wounds on the hands and the feet and the side of the Lord, we will find our names written there because we have wounded those hands and those feet and that side repeatedly. Let the wounds inspire us. Let the wounds challenge us. And let the wounds of Christ be our security, be our safety, be our salvation.